House Oversight Committee Chairman James Comer announcing new findings yesterday. He revealed President Biden received $40,000 in laundered Chinese money when his brother's wife cut him a check back in 2017. Here's what Comer had to say about this last night on Hannity. Watch. We've already proven that he met with all the people that sent his family money. We've, we've proven that Joe Biden's lied countless times to the American people about his knowledge and involvement of his family's shady business dealings. We've proven the family had over 20 shell companies. We've had proven they've had all these bank accounts. Now we have enough bank accounts in, Sean, where we can actually trace the money back to the source. So we found the check to Joe Biden. This is the second check in a week. The first one was for 200000 This one was for 40000 But what's, what's most alarming about this $40,000 check, it traces directly back to China. The committee released this timeline. It shows the money trail. It starts with a Chinese company wiring $5 million to a Hunter Biden joint venture company. Uh, that company then sends $400,000 to another Hunter Biden entity. That entity then sends $150,000 to a company owned by James and Sarah Biden. Sarah Biden then withdraws $50,000 from the company to put in their personal bank account. Then, a few days later, she cuts a $40,000 check to Joe Biden. Now, that $40,000 check is exactly 10% of the original $400,000 that went to Hunter. So that 10% for the big guy sounds like it was the template for all the money coming in, Kaylee. Uh, this is just extraordinary. And the House, the House Oversight Committee is, you know, finding the money as Joe Biden keeps taunting everybody, where's the money? They're, they're finding it. Absolutely. And credit to them because this is a very difficult money trail to unravel. Even and that was you, the point. Right. And when you're describing the timeline and all of the family members who were involved in money here, money there, it is clear that it was deliberately intended to blur the lines, to hide the fact that this influence peddling was going on. Why else would you have more than a dozen LLCs to distribute this money? Again, everything was intended to intentionally make it appear as though the Biden family was in good legal standing in these transactions. So I hope that House Republicans do continue to really ramp up this investigation. We've heard from a few lawmakers that they're considering now a subpoena of Hunter Biden, of James Biden, maybe even of the president himself, if they're able to continue docu documenting this evidence. That's what the American public needs right now. We have an important election next year. And if Joe Biden committed crimes while he was vice president, voters deserve to know that. The scariest part is that he's accepted so much money from China. Yeah. And China is our number one adversary. And, you know, when he taunts everybody by saying, oh, really, where's the money? Uh, it's it, it's almost like a, he knows it's going to be complicated because he right? set up all these 20 shell companies. And it, it's hard to believe that just six years ago, Joe Biden was actually sharp enough to pull off this scheme, right, and have all the moving pieces, all the moving parts, all the shell corporations. Um, it's a very complex scheme. But, you know, the one thing I didn't hear Comer mention was that the National Archives uncovered 82,000 private emails Joe Biden using three different or four different pseudonym email addresses. Yeah, right. I mean, that I cannot wait until we figure out what was going on there. That might give us some more insight. May, we may identify the smoking gun out of those pseudonym email accounts. And some accounts. of those emails were government emails, but Hunter Biden was CC'd on them. Yeah. So this whole idea that Hunter had no involvement in any government business is also a lie because he's CC'd on these emails. Yeah, dead and giveaway. And why is he using all these pseudonym <clears throat> names, Sean? So two things on this. One is I want somebody other than Peter Ducey to ask the president, when did you loan him the money? Let's get that on. Where's the, the loan record, document? Right? Yeah, because he, he writes that it's a loan. Yeah. <laughs> right. And secondarily, we talked about crime in the previous segment. And you have government officials who forget about whether they stole the money or didn't steal the money. If you're an elected office and you're using a pseudonym email to communicate, that's illegal. But so we have this sort of view from the top, if you will. So why should I follow the law? If the guy that's president of the United States can do all this stuff, why should I? And so it's just a bad look. Yeah. Um, and I don't, I don't know where the outrage is on the other side of the aisle. Like, like can how we do all the just, Democrats yeah. stand this? How do, you how do, do the that? Democrats how do you walk it? with their yeah. head up high knowing all of this yeah, and exactly. then they have to defend him? Right. Well, it I, goes back to what Gavin Newsom said when he was asked about this and he was saying, well, influence peddling isn't actually that unique. They all do it. But this is an extraordinary abuse of power where the man was vice president and he's being accused of actually changing policy decisions to make money. Yeah. 
That's an that is an extraordinary abuse of power. Yeah, it sure is, and I feel like uh, it's even worse than what the Clinton Global Initiative did. Um, with accepting money while she was Secretary of State. We don't yeah. know where that money went either. But, you know, you're talking about 82,000 emails. What was it, 30,000 emails that Hillary did? Yeah, so this is going to make her, her issues seem like absolutely exactly. nothing. It's yeah. going to dwarf <laughs> those issues. But, look, I mean, when you kind of look at this thing, you take a step back. I mean, James Biden was either the biggest mooch ever, bumming money from left and right from his brother. Well, there was a lot of money to go around. They right. They go in all these countries. Absolutely. So, I mean, Shaking I, them down. It seems to me very obvious that there there was a lot of funny business going on, a lot of illegal things happening. Um, let's just hope we can get to the bottom of it and actually make sure that we can prove this in court proceedings. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll see if uh, the impeachment inquiry takes another step up, because right now they're in the impeachment inquiry. They're gathering the evidence. 